Hi there! Welcome to Pallet University. So it has been a little while since I've uploaded anything. This is not so much a uh, you know actual content video as much as it is a just sort sort of like an update on some things because as you can see, I'm not in my normal sets. Any of the sets that you've seen me in before. No, now I am uh, in my apartment that I'm going to be living in while I'm in graduate school uh, in South Dakota. The move is, I mean, I've been here for like three weeks now, so I guess the move is like, should be done. But there's really lots of things uh, <laughs> around my room. I'm really glad that this isn't like a full picture of my room because my room's a hot mess. So these are just some quick uh, update things um, about, you know, the trip because it was a super awesome trip like across the country uh, with my parents, which was honestly a lot of fun. Um, and then sort of what I've been doing the last three weeks. So this is just definitely more of a personal update and not like a, you know, any kind of actual Pokemon content. So if you're not into that, um, definitely there will be something up in the next couple of days, most likely this weekend sometime, uh, because I've got a couple, a couple of scripts written. Uh, I think I've got two or three scripts written. I uh, just haven't, haven't had a bunch of time to record and Throughout this video, I'll explain kind of why. So I'll, I'll just get right into that. So firstly, um, grad school takes up a lot of your time. So looking at my schedule, it doesn't look like I'm that busy because I'm taking technically only three classes. Uh, one class is um, one hour on Tuesday, one hour on Thursday. Another class is an hour on Tuesday and Thursday and three hours on Wednesday. And the other class is one hour on Friday. So if you think about it, that's what, how many hours? Four, five, that's only eight hours of class each week. But I have a couple other commitments. So um, because I'm technically, I work for the school, um, I help teach a lab for some undergraduate students. That's three hours of my week as well. I have to grade papers for that lab. So that takes up a fair bit of time too. Um, I got a d uh, additional job because uh, the school's money is fantastic uh, and very helpful, but not everything that I need between you know paying a car payment, paying an apartment, uh, paying like paying rent, um, food. You know it's nice to eat. Um, so I had to pick up an extra job. So I'm working at the Museum of Geology on campus as like a tour guide slash working in the gift shop and things like that. So it's I'm not any less busy even though my class schedule says that I should be, you know? Not just that, like just the classes in general in graduate school, you need to have so much more time on your hands because uh, over this past weekend, I needed to read three papers because um, we had like a paper discussion in one of my classes. Uh, one of the pages was 300, or one of the papers was 300 pages long. Um, and granted, I didn't read all of it um, because a lot of it was very repetitive and, um, it, our teacher was like okay with us not reading all of it, but still that's, I read uh, probably around a hundred pages of it. Um, and especially when you consider that this past weekend, I, I took a trip to Yellowstone. Um, and I'll throw up some pictures and things that I've taken from uh, that trip. But like the geology department at my school basically offered a almost free trip to Yellowstone. So we left like Friday morning, got back Monday evening and uh, for $20, that got us into the park and food for the entire weekend. Plus, like, you know, camping and everything. So, like, like we camped in tents and stuff. So, like, 20 bucks to visit Yellowstone, almost basically everything included. You can't really beat that. Um, so, we were very busy doing things at Yellowstone, and I had to read these papers on top of it. So, obviously, um, there's... I'm very busy still, is, is basically what I'm getting at. So what is graduate school like? So I've had some of my friends who graduated with me this, you know, back in May um, that aren't going to grad school. They like went and got like a real jobs <laughs> instead of continuing uh, in college. And uh, they've been asking me what graduate school is like. So, so far, it's not all that much different than being like a senior. Um, and I feel like that's, that's not everybody's experience of it because I feel like uh, my undergraduate school really prepared me super well for it because, you know, especially the last, so I took five years to do my undergrad, so I was technically a senior twice. Um, but 
in basically all the classes that I took in either of my two senior years, um, they seem a lot like the classes that I'm taking now, and I don't know whether that's a good thing and that my school prepared me well, or if that's a bad thing that my, um, my graduate school is treating me more like an undergraduate student. I'm not really sure how that works. I like to think that it's the, the former, uh, that my undergraduate school prepared me really well, but I'm not really sure. I think the biggest difference is how much reading there is. Um, so I actually just decided on um, what I'm gonna be working on for my master's thesis today, and I'm super excited about it because it's a project that lets me go out into the field and um, you know collect fossils, basically. Um, not for me, but to add to like the collection at my college, but something that gets me out of the field digging up bones, but it's something that I've wanted to do like for my entire life. Um, so that's super exciting. But I just decided that today, and then my advisor gave me five papers to read by our meeting next week. Um, which seems like a, a lot, because <laughs> it kind of is. Some of them were a little bit long, uh, but not terrible. Uh, but it's just so much more reading than, um, than I'm used to, really. So like I said, I've got a couple of scripts written um, with an additional third. I think I've got two written and uh, an idea for a third. Uh, I'm not sure what order they'll be in. Uh, I'm kind of still figuring that out. Uh, but with uh, Sword and Shield coming out really soon, uh, in what, what's today? Today's the, today's the 11th. So in like two months, basically, um, they, they've been like revealing information at a really good interval, personally. Uh, I didn't make a video about uh, Cramorant and Poltegeist, even though I, I probably will in the next like day or so, so that's a fourth idea for a video. So it just, it's just a matter of me finding time to actually record, mostly. So um, there will be things coming, I promise, um, as well as uh, I need to write an additional script for the uh, Gotta Name Em All series which unfortunately uh, has kind of fallen to the wayside. Like I think I updated, updated that series once over the summer and I feel bad because that's sort of like the flagship series on the channel, you know what I mean? So um, we will continue with that. The next episode of that is I think the last Johto episode. Yes, it's the last Gen 2 episode. Uh, and then we get into, you know, Gen 3. And so hopefully I want to be updating that series again like every other week because um, I'm planning to do uh, go back to like one video a week. I think at one point I was trying to do two, and at this point, I think that's just not gonna really be a thing, unless, you know, for some special reason, like uh, a trailer comes out and I want the video up that day, or the next day or something to that effect. Um, but yeah, also a couple of other videos planned um, are, I'm probably gonna make two videos out of my, um, I, so where, where is it, is it here? It is here. So I have this, I think I've talked about it a couple times, I have this tiny little GoPro, and, um, or knockoff GoPro. Don't buy a real GoPro, it's a rip -off. Um, but yeah, I've got this that I had uh, on my trip to Belize, which I always said I was going to make like a vlog series of, and then I just kind of didn't. But I put this up on my dashboard for the entire trip that we, that we took from New York to South Dakota. Um, and overall, I've got like 76 gigs of footage. Um, so I'll probably turn that into two or three, um, just like lightly narrated, um, like videos that I'll try to do. So that's an additional two videos. So what, that's what, six or seven videos that I have already planned. So there's content coming. <laughs> there's content coming, believe me. So I think that's pretty much all I've got for now for updates. I'm sure that there will be more soon, question mark. Um, but like I said, like I said, there will be uh, a new video up this weekend. I haven't decided which one of the videos that I have planned will be up. It will most likely, most likely not be one of the vlogs, um, just because that's a lot of video to sort through. Um, like I, it's something like seven or eight hours of footage, something close to that. Um, so we'll see. Keep an eye out probably Sunday because I don't have much going on this weekend. Uh, in, in terms of actually things to do. Uh, there was a conference that I wanted to go to, but then I'm like, nah, I kind of need some me time after Yellowstone. As, as fun as that trip was, um, I, it ate up a lot of time and frankly, a lot of money. Um, so we'll see. 
so um, thank you guys just for sticking by. Um, like I said, new video coming on Sunday with lots more in the works. If you have any video suggestions or ideas, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. Um, and I will try to fix up my scene a little better, make it a little, just some personal behind the scenes things that you guys don't really care about, so I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, if you have any additional um, you know, suggestions for video for videos, drop those down below. Uh, there will be a video coming out um, probably Sunday. Look for it Saturday, even though it will most likely be uh, Sunday. Um, make sure to follow us on Twitter at pilot underscore you. And as always, there's a time and place for everything.